Welcome to another session of Certification Exam Rapid Training. Why do we call it that? Because it's not too long and hopefully not too short. We replicate these on the way that many of us trainers used to deliver sessions at Microsoft Ignite and even back in the days of tech ed and internally at Microsoft conventions. The goal is within 60 minutes to try to help tip you folks over the edge Hopefully you've done some of or most of your studying by now, but if not, this will give you an idea of what's on the exam, some hot areas to study. And we try to go for not the low hanging fruit, the stuff that's easy and most people know, but we try to go for some of the deeper things that maybe if you're not as experienced, you haven't dug into these things. That's our goal. Three to five questions get you tipped over because we find out that when most people take exams, that's about how much they miss. But even if you haven't taken the exam or haven't studied yet, we'll give you lots of resources and references throughout the slide. My name is Mark Grimes, and this is the SC-300 Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator session. I've been an MCT since 1997, so hopefully I have a few tips and tricks up my sleeve. This will all be posted out on YouTube and a shortcut for all of my sessions and the other trainers is aka.ms slash YouTube slash cert. And I'll try to point most of these also to the specific exam. So if you go to aka.ms slash YouTube slash SC-300, that will take you directly to this video. Throughout the slides, you will see YouTube icons. And what I've done in this session is try to map some of the Azure Active Directory sessions from Microsoft's product group that are relevant to the topics that we are talking about. Our session objectives and takeaways. So the goal is, first of all, to understand the exam objectives. You have to go know that outline. I have a shortcut, again, per exam, I try to make it real simple. So HTTPS colon whack whack, aka.ms slash SC-300. And that's your outline. And that's what I've used to build out this session so that we categorically walk through the four major modules and all the subtopics. And although I can't hit every line item, again, I try to hit the, the ones I think that will be most useful and di deep dive into a few of those. Also some tips and tricks to augment your learning, give you some places to go to and uh, links that I've done and researched for you. And hey, how about some real world stuff too? So that's always helpful and useful. On this exam in particular, I really like it. I've been an identity guy for almost my entire career at Microsoft. And in the stuff that I talk to customers about and advise them on, this is a lot of the meat and potatoes. So I think this is a very useful exam, probably even more so than the Microsoft Azure security exam because it really deep dives specifically into Azure Active Directory, which is kind of my bread and butter lately. I will make this deck available as well as I'll try to get the links pulled out. I'll put them all out my blog. I didn't put the link for that, but my blog is just my name, aka.ms slash Mark Grimes, no spaces, no dashes. But when you get the decks, these sl slides have multiple animations and multiple pictures. So if you don't watch it in full screen, you're not going to see a lot of those pictures. And why do you care about the pictures? Because most of those are right out of docs and most of those are default settings. So sometimes by looking at all the little clicks and buttons and options, that, that in turn helps you to study for this stuff. So you can always press F5 if you didn't know that little trick to go into the full screen slide mode. And additionally, when you're in full screen mode, the hyperlinks just work as well. And a cool thing that I discovered, I saw someone else do, is I use the zoom slide feature. And we'll kind of demonstrate that as we continue in this introductory module here. The zoom slide feature, very, very cool. If you never use it, you should look it up uh, on the Microsoft Docs. But it basically looks like a Jeopardy screen. And each of these are clickable tiles when you're in full screen mode. So for example, if you already know how to implement an identity management solution, but you're not as strong in apps, you can just click on that little square for implement access management for apps. It jumps you to that. And then when it's done, it brings you back to the menu. Now, as this gets published onto YouTube, I will publish these serially one after another. So you could just as easily, you know, go to one section or another, but if you're using the slide for the study references, that's where it comes in handy. And again, YouTube icon here at the bottom of this slide is specifically um, to the all up Azure Active Directory channel, 
way more than you probably need to know for this. But again, that's the good real world stuff also. The last part of the first part of this introductory module, let's just talk a little bit about certification and how it relates to this particular exam, the SC-300. All your certification stuff can be found out there at Microsoft Learn, which I uh, got a shortcut, aka.ms slash Azure slash Learn. And again, the aka.ms slash SC-300 are the exam objectives, which are your guidelines for what to study and that I use for this deck. So related certification, uh, when you do this, it uh, can get you uh, kind of a little badge, which is nice. Uh, if you can post this on your LinkedIn profile for Identity and Access Administrator Associate. There is a study guide from Charbel Nemnam. Hope I said that right. Uh, they did a pretty good job from what I can see. When I do these things and when I look for other ones out there, I don't want third party references. I want official Microsoft docs because the exam writers, that's what they use and they look for and reference as well. We never know which ones they use, but we take a best guess estimate on figuring that out. So there is one. Again, I'll try to get mine published on my blog at aka.ms slash Mark Grimes as well. I have some of my other slides out there and when I'm done recording this, I'll put this slide deck up there as well. So look for that. One exam. One certification, pretty cool to get the Identity and Access Administrator Associate. Categorically are the four boxes we saw already, Implement and Identity Management Solution, Implement and Authentication and Access Management Solution, Implement Access Management for Apps and Manage the Infrastructure, and Plan and Implement an Identity Governance Strategy. Another tip about how to prepare for the exam is, as we mentioned, know the exam objectives. So when you go to the docs for Azure Active Directory documentation, you'll see categories for authentication and conditional access and hybrid identity. Here's a neat little trick that I do. Again, I've done the work for you, but if you want to find other line items in those exam objectives that maybe I didn't cover as well and you think you need to study more. Once you click on one of those particular links, say like for example, what is Azure AD authentication, you're kind of into that little section. And when you go all the way in the left-hand side at the bottom of that menu, there's always a download PDF. So what I do when preparing for these is I download that PDF, I open it up in Adobe Acrobat. I'll take some keywords from that exam objective like how to configure access reviews. So I'll do a search for access reviews and I try to find a title header with that. And that's a pretty good um, reference spot to go with. It's not a random search, it's specifically only in that area. And that's what I do for each of these things if I, if I don't find it right away with a quick Bing search or a Google search. If there are prax exams, by all means take one. I didn't see any yet, I'm sure they will come out eventually, but uh, those are a good gauge, you know, if you, Think you're kind of ready, but not sure. It helps you to find out what those weak areas are. Stay tuned and look for those when they do come out. Of course, one of the best things you can also do in addition to reading all this stuff is get hands-on if possible. This screenshot here is simply looking in an Azure portal. And if you don't have subscription, just fire up a trial one. All you need is a credit card. And as long as you don't fire up any storage or compute, your costs will be little to none and you can see these things and anything that requires Azure Active Directory P1 or P2 license, you could do a trial and then for 30 days, you can click on all these things. But all these arrows, uh, from what I could tell, are related to exam topics in this. So of those 21 things in the portal, most if not all of them are relevant to this exam. And associated with each of these kind of broad topic areas, are learning paths. So when you go to aka.ms slash sc-300 for the exam objectives, when you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see these, but at last notice I found only three of them showed, but I do have links for them to get there directly. And if you go to Microsoft uh, Learn and browse for the videos, um, there's a learning pack. And if you're brand new or have very little to, to any experience at all in Azure, in particular Azure Active Directory, and you like to read through things as opposed to trying and doing things, these are great ways to, it's, it's kind of like self-directed learning, and I'm sure most of it came from docs anyways, 
but it's a really good, and you get kind of credits for it too. So if you log on with your corporate credentials or whatever, that's pretty nifty. Other places to look for help, and again, the YouTube channel, which I mentioned, um, which we will you know, categorically put those specific links on the slides uh, as I found them relevant to those particular topics. That's it for the introductory section. We are now back to the main menu.